A search for answers after a pack of dogs kill a man and badly injure a woman. And people in West Memphis want to know why those vicious dogs were still roaming the streets. It's a story we brought you yesterday after the owner gave up 14 dogs. That's four adult dogs, 10 puppies, but that was nearly two weeks after the initial attack. Early in the morning on November 8th, officers found the first victim in a ditch where he told them the dogs had attacked him. Eight days later, this is now on the 16th. The dogs attack a woman while she was riding her bike. Then on the 21st, the first victim, Sam Sullivan, sadly dies from his injuries. But it wasn't until more than a week later, yesterday, November 29th, that the dogs were picked up by animal control. Now the question on pretty much everyone's mind is what took so long. WRG's Shay Arthur has been searching for that answer today and Shay, what were you able to find out? Hey Greg, hey Stephanie. Well, the dogs in question weren't picked up until yesterday at the request of the police department once they learned about that death. And Stephanie Greg, this is the same time we started asking questions. Tonight, the horrible image of a woman being attacked by dogs outside of an abandoned home nearly two weeks ago off 19th Street is still on this woman's mind. She asked us not to identify her. Just screaming, screaming. I mean, just eating her. And it was like, like food. Her family called 911. We screamed and yelled so them to go away. Shaken, she then learned the news a man had been attacked by a pack of dogs nearby several days before. West Memphis police say he died a few days ago from his injuries he received earlier in the month. Oh, they tripped me out. I think they should have did something the first time. We talked to Carrie Facello, Animal Services Director for West Memphis, on the phone about the incident. We have not been able to get any definite um, description of the dogs that did either of the of the attacks. I think one of the biggest questions is if a man was attacked on November 8th by the dogs, how could this happen again? And that's a very reasonable question and our goal, our mission, our purpose as animal services is to protect the community. That that's our ultimate goal and purpose. Again, we're somewhat handicapped because we're not certain as to what dogs did in either incident, which dogs did the attacking. So the dogs that could be responsible could still be out there? It is impossible to say. It's impossible to say. Facello says the assumption has been made it's dogs from this property off 19th Street that appears to be a scrapyard. She says the owner has been cooperative with the investigation and claims the dogs only protect his property. 14 dogs were seized from that property, four adults and 10 puppies. It's been very difficult to discern what what dogs actually did the damage. Stephanie Gregg, tonight the case is still under investigation. It's unclear right now if the dog's owner could face charges, so more details on that to come. We'll keep you posted. We're live in West Memphis tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG, New Channel 3.